after you just, uh, I, I think we could call that assault, it folded my, <laughs> my golden flash over in my jacket. But I do have some. It looks better stuff. that way. Uh, okay. <laughs> all right, and I got an Edinburgh shot. Sure that underneath. That's all right. I need some OU stuff. Okay. What weights is Ohio are you looking like for? What are you doing here? Who are you looking for? Uh, yeah, I, I was really probably 25 pounders, not 195. Um, you know, looking for a lot of a lot of juniors more than anything. You guys, you're from a great wrestling state in Iowa. Yep. Uh, you know, you were kind of below the radar guy a little bit coming off a team. You, were, you guys didn't have a full lineup when you were a senior high school, did you? Uh, I think we did. I mean, we we were we had a full team, and we just weren't very good. <laughs> <laughs> but you, you made it happen at UNI. Now you're yep. the head coach. Over 20 years now at OU. Congratulations, right? Thanks. Just hit 20 years. But, um, you know, you guys got Cameron Kelly. I like that guy. I like that guy, too. That guy can go deep into the tournament in Cleveland. How do you find more of him or out here at the Ohio State Tournament? Well, I think, you know, hey, you're, you're looking at the best of the best here in the tournament. Yeah, I mean, it, it's been exciting so far. I think there's a lot of good kids in there. You've got to look for kids that are under the radar. Um, you know, and, and you got to try to get the best kids to keep them in state. Uh, obviously, Ohio State's going to get some. Kent State's going to get some. Ohio's going to get some. But we'd like to keep them all here as opposed to going to anywhere out of state. Crazy thing happened to you about a month ago uh, in the dual meet. One of your guys literally died on the mat, an Ohio State champ in Austin. Uh, he's a pretty tough guy, NSA qualifier. Would have got a spot this year, I think. Uh, I think without a doubt. How do you handle that as a coach? Uh, like everything else. I mean, you gotta you got to look at the positives. The positives are this. Hey, he's still here. You know what I mean? I mean, he's a kid. I love that kid like, like he's my son. And... Uh, you know, that, that could have been a disaster. Thankfully, it happened where it happened. Uh, we had a doctor there. The, 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 the referee was actually a doctor. We had two trainers there. Um, you think about all the time guys spend working out on their own, running on their own, all those things. It, it, you know, if it would have happened somewhere like that, man, he, he wouldn't be here right now. But since it happened where it happened, <coughs> excuse me, and uh, that, that he was, he's pretty dang lucky. I mean, I, I was in the hospital, and the doctor told him that uh, only 7% of the people that have what he had live if they have it outside the hospital. That's, uh, that's huge, you know. How crazy is it that, and, it, and what did it put life in perspective for you as a coach? You canceled the dual meet. You and Coach Martin probably had to come to a consensus on that. That's huge, man. Well, I didn't, I'll, I'll be honest with you. I really didn't ask anybody. I just said, hey, we're not, you know. I look over at my guys still on the bench. I look at myself. I, you know, nobody was really in a, in a frame of mind to, to wrestle that match. And, and to me, um, that match wasn't that important at that point in time. So uh, we, we ended up can canceling the duel. And um, it was one of those things. I mean, uh, I, I love wrestling, but, uh, uh, you know, I, I thought at that point in time, Austin Reese was more important than that. Coach. You always guy I look up to literally and figuratively. Uh, you put things in perspective for me. What's next for you guys? What do you got to do to build up? Can you even get him back on your team? Well, he's going to be on our team. I mean, you know, he, he's been basically med medically disqualified to wrestle. Um, so he, he won't wrestle for us anymore. But, you know, we're going to use him as an assistant coach, a student assistant. Guy has a passion for wrestling. He knows wrestling. He loves to be around it. Our guys feed off him. I mean, you look at he went. He traveled to the MAC tournament with us. And you look at look at him around our guys. They're smiling and laughing, and he and he helps them out. Uh, obviously, I think we had a little bit of a rough year this year, but what, but you know, we're already looking forward to. Hey, the guys that we had redshirted, the guys that we're going to get back from healthy. We had four national qualifiers out of our lineup at the end of the year. That's uh, that's unfortunate, but sometimes that's the way it goes. College wrestling is tough. You got anything else for me? No, I don't. Thank you. Hey, thanks for talking to me, even though I'm wearing the wrong clothes. I'll be expecting that OU gear in the mail, right, Coach? Jacket, right? <laughs> what, what, what's, what's that, a double X? That's an X. Oh. But thanks. <laughs> thanks for thinking I'm getting to your side yet, all right?